Hey guys, TBL here bringing you some more Call of Duty Ghost Onslaught DLC gameplay. This DLC came out for uh, the PS3 and the PS4 last week. So I've had a little bit of time to play around with it. I was kind of uh, going over some of the maps over the weekend. But anyway, this is a basic team deathmatch on the stage fog. It's kind of a horror themed stage and a creepy bog filled with fog. You know, caves, blood, all that 80s horror stuff. Now, of course, as you guys have probably seen, the uh, main point of interest on this stage is the field order care package you can receive from it. Of course, when you complete a field order uh, on this stage, you have a chance to receive a care package that could contain uh, a p basically a power-up that turns you into Michael Myers from the Halloween series. You're basically a supercharged uh, juggernaut maniac just running around hatchet-axing people. It's, it's super crazy. And another quick important thing to note is that along with this DLC pack came a couple of new weapons, basically uh, two different variants of the same weapon. As you can see, I'm using it right now. It is called the uh, the Maverick. This is the uh, the assault rifle variant of it. It comes in basically assault rifle and sniper rifle forms. Now in this video, I'm just going to be using the uh, assault rifle variant. I'll cover the sniper rifle in another video. And uh, the basic description for the assault rifle is that it is uh, fully automatic with uh, Trensis Hyper Velocity rounds to provide devastating damage at close range with a uh, moderate stability and fire rate. And I'd have to say that's pretty accurate. The weapon feels like it has a decent amount of power. It definitely drops people rather quickly ah. at close range. And uh, it's mid to long range performance is about average, I'd say. So overall, I feel like it's a pretty decent weapon. It's not over or underpowered at all. Anyways, I've got this thing packed up with a suppressor and a foregrip to help with uh, keeping me off the radar and basically keeping my uh, recoil to a minimum. And oh, somebody just picked up Michael Myers. As you can see, it says there in the corner, somebody picked it up. It's the special field, uh, field order for this stage. And once somebody picks it up, the, uh, the Michael Myers theme, or rather the Halloween theme, just starts up. And that's when you know you're either being hunted or you've got a very big hunter on your team. Thankfully, he's on our side, so I don't really have to worry about him coming and killing me in the middle of the recording. Anyway, now that I've got the basic stuff out of the way, we can get to the topic that I really wanted to cover for you guys in this video. And that is that Nintendo is shutting off killing the Wi-Fi services for the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo DS. That generally means that uh, online functions for the Wii and the DS, like online play and matchmaking, uh, leaderboards and tournament data, sharing of user-generated content, use of in-game items or characters or exchanging those items, and you know, free add-on content or downloads for the few games that did actually have DLC will all be cut off on May 20th. And I gotta say, that's kind of sad news for me. The Wii was my first really online console. Uh, discounting PC, of course, and I have a r lot of really, really good memories of uh, playing Nintendo Wi-Fi games with a lot of friends, like, I mean, Mario Kart Wii, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Monster Hunter, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, The Conduit, GoldenEye. There are a lot of memories stored in there for me. And that's not even counting the absolute mountainous pile of DS games. So to think that all of that is getting shut off when really a lot of it is still very heavily played, is kind of jarring for me. While I do of course believe that this was inevitable, you know, anytime you have a new console generation coming out, the old one is eventually going to be pushed aside. That along with ongoing server cost plus, you know, maybe a dwindling player base, really does make sense to shut down the server, so I understand it from a business point of view. But, I really didn't expect this for at least another year or so. If anything, I really just kind of wish they would have waited a bit, at least until the Wii U was a bit more successful for them to pull the plug on these two previously still very popular or, uh, platforms. There are a lot of people who still play Wii and DS games online. I mean, uh, not even a month ago, actually it was like maybe a week and a half ago, I popped in Modern Warfare 3 for the Wii, and uh, there were more people online in that than there were online in Ghosts for the Wii U. Not to mention the number of people who play online Wii games through the virtual Wii mode on the Wii U itself. I really just don't understand why they would cut the service so soon. And honestly, I don't even know if uh, this basically kill switch of Wi-Fi is going to affect the virtual Wii on the Wii U or if the virtual Wii uses different servers. I, I really don't know. I just don't understand why they would cut it so soon. I thought we'd get a little more life out of the, uh, out of the console than this. Now, I had an interesting conversation uh, the other day with a friend about this, 
Um, and basically we came to the conclusion that maybe, you know, this is uh, Nintendo's way of trying to push Wii owners a bit more into purchasing a Wii U. As everybody knows, they do need to sell more of the console. It has not sold nearly as well as they thought it would. And this might be their way of, uh, of, of trying to push already dedicated Wii and DS fans into the Wii U and 3DS world. But honestly, I think that would be better accomplished by simply releasing more games for the console you're trying to sell. It's been a time-tested and proven uh, strategy for pretty much all of Nintendo's history. As long as you can continue to make good games for a system, those games will sell that system. So anyway, the uh, shutdown is happening on May 20th. Now, the uh, forum I generally work with, I'm a moderator on it, it's called Nintendo World Forums. Uh, in lieu of this news, we're setting up a bunch of old Nintendo Wii-based tournaments for games like Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Mario Kart, and Super Smash Bros. just to kind of give the system a last hurrah. So if you want to join in on the fun of uh, giving the Wii its final sale, maybe join in on some uh, community Mario Kart races, or even party up on Modern Warfare 3 one last time, definitely check out Nintendo World. Uh, we'll be setting it all up within the coming weeks. I'll leave a link to the uh, website in the description. And definitely look for me on there, because uh, I'm going to be probably in charge of at least some of the things like Mario Kart and whatnot. And uh, I'll definitely be getting on those, uh, some of those old Wii games just to give them their last hurrah. If this thing is going to end, we're going to end it right. So get in on it and uh, maybe even invite some friends. And hopefully I'll see you there. But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. Uh, let me know what your opinions are on the Nintendo shutting down service for the Wii and the DS on May 20th. Tell me whether you agree, disagree, or maybe even if you've got some good stories from back in the Wii days. You can drop it all in the comments below. Anyways, pretty good timing. We ended the match pretty much right when we finished the discussion. I did wind up going 23-7 and seven with one assist, so uh, not too bad at all. And I think I pretty much covered everything that I wanted to talk about. Again, I'll have links to uh, Nintendo Worlds and where we'll be setting up all the old Wii tournaments and uh, community gameplays in the description box below. That's it for this one, guys. If you'd like to see more of my videos, whether they're Call of Duty or otherwise, stick around and stay tuned to the channel where I'll have a ton more stuff coming up soon. As always, I am the Blackwing. Stay frosty.